you were about to lose your job. Uh, uh. You were about to lose your job. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, man. We ain't here this week. Yeah, man. We back. We back. I am Jay Mills. I am Young Lennox. And this is the Loud Opinions Podcast, Podcast. episode 10. How you feeling, man? Um, I'm A1, man. I ain't I'm, I'm feeling great I'm all about over the place. Every, everything that's going on this week, you know. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, man. Black Lives Matter, man. Look, I, hear, I see a lot of people with the All Lives Matter shit, right? And I'm going to tell you, all mm-hmm. lives matter. That is true. But all lives can't matter without... Black Lives Matter. Yeah, we got to get the Black Lives t- right right now. We're not yeah, saying that yeah. all lives don't matter, but as of right now in this moment in time, and the shit that we going through, it's like Black Lives definitely matter, man. Yeah, in order for all lives to matter, you have to acknowledge Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Like, if you're not acknowledging that Black Lives Matter, and you just want to go straight to all lives matter, that's like the people that acknowledge the looting mm-hmm. and... The rioting and all of this shit, but you don't acknowledge why they're looting. looting right. So if you right. want, if you want to, if you want me to meet you at your argument, your debate, your conversation, whatever. If you want me to meet you halfway and understand why you saying all lives matter, then you, you got to meet me halfway and understand right. why we saying black lives no, black matter. Lives so matter. real talk. That's real just talk, that's just where I'm at with it, real man. Talk. Uh, last week when I put out the episode, because I was a little late with the editing and all that mm-hmm. shit. It's been a while week in the United States of yeah. America. It's been a wild year in the United States of America. So what are we in um is it June? June. We June, just got yeah. to June, man. June. I feel like it's fucking been twelve months already. <laughs> this year been entirely crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. So I don't know. We uh we here though. We here man. we alive. Blessed We're blessed favorite. We, we healthy favorite. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it could be a lot it could be a lot worse. Like I was saying uh, just now before I went off course, last week when I uploaded the episode, we was talking about how they hadn't charged the other officers Yeah, yet. the other three officers. And by the time I had put the episode out, they charged the other officers. So let's uh, shout, out, shout out to right. the people who made the decision to finally go out and arrest those other but, officers. But we can't celebrate too can't early. Can't celebrate, you know, we still. Because we've seen too many situations where, like, Okay, they got charged, but they didn't get sentenced. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it was like, we still got to look forward to that. And, and they and they, and they, up, them, they, up, they up dudes' charges from third degree to second degree. Second degree. We got to let mm-hmm. that be known. So that's a good exactly, thing. Exactly, exactly. I was talking to my lady earlier and, uh, because she was out in L.A. for the Rodney King riots. Mm-hmm. So I was asking her, um, do you think that these riots were more... Uh, Trying to find they the worse right word. Than like not worse, but a, a bigger impact than the Rodney King riots. And she was saying, yeah, because in the Rodney King riots, that was like a South, that was like a LA thing. LA like thing South and Central. Watts and that. Gotta remember, mm-hmm. we was in Harlem at that time. We right. was in New York. She was in the jungle. Right. You know what I'm saying? At that right. time. So she was looking at it like that was a LA thing. And then they tore down, they tore up LA. They burnt down they LA. They burned up the they whole didn't, LA, man. They didn't they go to Beverly shit. Hills with this shit. They nah. didn't go to Melrose. Nope. They, they didn't. They it was, wasn't worldwide either. It wasn't worldwide. They protested in mm-hmm. 50 states. I want to say 15. Cause I, I don't know exactly how many countries. But, but we've never seen nothing You've never seen like nothing this, like though. this. Never seen nothing like this. Rest in peace, George, George Floyd. George Floyd. He had a, a to, beautiful um, funeral. Did you watch it? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get to ch- watch the whole memorial. Okay. I didn't get to watch the whole memorial. Okay. But it was beautiful, though, man. Sharpton did a great, amazing job, man. It had um, Hezekiah did the music. It was like so emotional. What touched me the most at that memorial was when um, at the end, Sharpton had everybody stand for eight minutes and 46 seconds, but he had Eric Gardner mother up there with him. Like that was, she was up there in tears going crazy. Yeah, that's like, powerful. I'm like, listen, she was the first one, you know, her son with that, I can't breathe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Rest in, rest in rest peace. Rest in peace, man. Rest George in peace. Floyd, man. Rest in peace, man. Uh, yeah, it's just. It's just a wild time because we went from quarantine to, all right, we're about to slowly phase one, phase mm-hmm. two, phase three. And before you could get the phase, we back outside, it's, it's a whole. I feel like we went to war. I'm, I'm downtown I've never LA. Seen, I've never seen no shit like this. army trucks. They out there with the AR-15s 
all around the blocks. I should not be a U.S. civilian and be outside and see 30 Army tanks going by down the street. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that really, like, make me like, oh, no, we at war, like. Yeah, she, you know what I'm saying? See, I got like, my for, band, for I got my bandana on today, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was yeah. going to tie my shit to the front <laughs> like, on my, <laughs> on my I, I pock shit. I go pock the, vibes, man. But nah, man. I was um, about to go me against the world on these bitch ass <laughs> niggas today. <laughs> But it, it is some it is wild. It was wild for me to see when they was burning up cop cars and slashing the tires yeah, and shit. I've never seen like that. that. Oh. Another thing, another thing that we've never seen. Uh we haven't seen Donald Trump in this type of uncomfortable position. I'm gonna state to you. So why. uncomfortable. He wanted to build a wall. Now you're living like in a cage. Real like, talk. They got the cages and the, the fence and shit outside the White House. Yep. They With changed the, the street to 1600 Black, Black Lives, Lives Matter, Matter Plaza. Plaza. Talk about it. Wait, what's right. it? Like, wait, I mean, get nah, to the nah, even fuck crazier that. Fuck part. that, man. I got to light my blunt, man. I got to light my blunt. Listen. I have to light my blunt in light honor it. of the yeah, president on, of on, the United on. States, Donald Trump. Agent on His address is 1600 Black Lives Matter Plaza. I'm going to say that again, man. <laughs> President yes. Donald Trump's Trump, address yes. is 1600 Black Lives Matter Plaza. If that shit ain't, if that shit don't make you feel good, at least for a little bit, shit is still fucked up. It's very fucked up. But, and I saw the uh, they changed the the shit. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. The I don't even want to try to pronounce it because I'm a, I'm a fuck it up. But if you get arrested in New York right now, uh-huh. it ain't no 24 hours you go through and then you get to see the judge and they give you a date and all that. Ain't if none you, of that. If you get arrested right now, you get arrested in like indefinitely type shit. Damn. Like yeah. That that that's how they're trying to slow up people getting From locked up stuff, on the yeah. shit. It's like yo, I'm let you know. You get locked up right now, you ain't going to see the judge for a while. But that's on yeah, you, though. That's you do, on you. Yeah, you do we your thing. You, you be cool. Options. You be cool. But I'm still going to like this. I'm right. going to... Wait, hold up. Back, back. We're going to go back to the the Black Lives Matter Plaza. Did you see how they got Black Lives Matter on the, the road leading to the White House? In yellow. He could see it in bright yellow. He could see the shit from his window. In yellow. Come on, now. How you like them apples? He got to wake up every day and look at that. He really got to live with that. That's his life right now. I'm black, y'all. Until, and, until I'm black, y'all. and I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, and I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. Oh, yeah. We got to, we got to, um, definitely, everybody, please go out there and vote right now. That just came oh, to yeah. me. Um, we got to get him out of office, man. You know, straight, uh, Democratic parties, man. If you don't know what to do with your life, um, you know. Look, man. It is what it is. The president lives at 1600 Black Lives Matter Plaza. Plaza. That, and I pray it stays like that forever. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, once again, all of the officers in George Floyd's death charged. We hope that justice is served. Because, mm-hmm. you know, just because they charged, like you said, that don't really mean nothing. But we hope justice is fully served. And they, oh, get, think, they, 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 they found guilty of murder. They all need to be found guilty of murder. They all had sure. their knees on them. They all was a part of... For the sure. blood not being able to circulate and flow from his back yep. to his lungs. So y'all all gotta y'all all gotta eat that. Elbow. Even homeboy as the onlooker though, that little you know what I'm saying, the one that was just standing there. You guilty by association. You guilty by association. I watch bro. First Forty Eight, nigga. <laughs> if you drive the car to them to go put that work in, guess who? Guess who? At the end of the episode is gonna be walking out in the white jumpsuit with handcuffs. You. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah. Talk about it. But oh, as we talking about lighting this blunt. Once again, this episode is sponsored by Peach Tree Exotics. This Shout out to my homegirl Jada Stevens. So this fire. week, this week, I, I, as I told y'all, we was gonna smoke on the we smoking on the purple peach. This, this week, fire. you know what I'm saying? I hit her up and I asked her, was we smoking indica or sativa last week? Because we know, that, just smoking nigga. That we shit just was, like that shit was weed, so. She told she told me it was uh it was indica. She told me the purple peach is a hybrid. Bird, though, so. Shout out to Jada, man. Appreciate Shout you, Shout out to Jada man. Stevens. Bird. You know Bird. what I'm saying? We appreciate the love. Peace Tree Exotic. Jada 420. You know what I'm saying? What is it? What is it? Two Cheeks Back? Two? At Two At Cheeks, two cheeks back. back. Yeah. I love her Twitter. I mean, her, that, her, her that, that, that's, that's a fire <laughs> name. That's a fire name. It's I fire. wish I could have a fire name. <laughs> Like that's some real now, nah, forget, shit, forget, right? forget it, yo. Just we forget it. Just forget, it. just forget it. Just forget it. And you know what? I was gonna do 
the porn star hall of filth. Like, we was going to do it for real, for real this week. And I know I said I was going to do the porn star right. versus right. this week. But I'm not fully prepared. I don't think I'm fully prepared to do the porn I, star versus right now. Because I, cause I, I left a few names out last week. Like, I, I didn't. Me too. See, I went it back. It was a lot of names. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a lot of names that I left out last week. And I was like, oh, I got to come back in and do that right. the right way. So I'm like, in order for me to do it the right way. I got to, you know, like I left out like Sky Black and fucking Jasmine Cashmere. Yeah, that was the first one on my list. Like, Sky did, Black. How did I leave out Listen, Jasmine Cashmere? I discovered Cashmere. Sky Black on Head Clinics. All right, come on. I thought we Listen, wasn't even that, doing this well, this I'm week. sorry. My, my bad, Scott. Listen, I love y'all, man. Y'all, I love y'all work. Y'all work hard, man. Listen. Uh, shout out to all the porn stars. Yeah, we going to get, know, it, we gonna get you into it next I heard, week. I heard the Exotica convention is coming up. Ooh. I heard it's in Chicago, though. It's a little nippy, but... We taking a flight or we might have to take a flight <laughs> out there. Take I'm, a flight I'm, though. I'm a, we don't do guests. We but don't. I'm, I'm trying to line up some interviews for the Exotica Porn Convention. I want to start taking our shit on the road, man. Do hey, some, I'm with do it, some man. Some different shit. Book it. I Look, I could talk dead. all day, and I got a lot of personality, so yeah, fuck it. Yeah, but we're yeah. gonna do the porn star versus next week, right. and we're gonna continue the porn star hall of filth. filth but yeah. I'm just not fully prepared. To get into all that this week, still got some more shit. I got one, 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 one point. So I got. Oh uh, man, this guy don't stop. Listen, no, because now it's on my mind. Cause now I'm thinking about it. Fucking uh, Jenna Jameson, one of my favorites. Oh my god, kid, when Jenna Jameson. I went Jenna Jameson. I had to pull out the Jocelyn James. See this. See once we start. All right, we're gonna save for next week. We we're gonna, we're gonna sit. Yeah, you ever you ever saw you ever <laughs> saw any joints on Monica Santiago? Come on, come on. Oh my god, where is she right now? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah. Hello. Check this out. Check this out. The NBA back. NBA back. NBA back. Dun, 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 how the fuck is this going to go? Like, you know, you, really... you want to know how this NBA shit is going to go? I'm going to tell you how this yeah, NBA yeah, shit is going to go. What you think, man? What you, what you think is going on out there in the streets, man? A whole bunch of work getting flued out. Because mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. the basketball players going to be in one place. Ain't that crazy? Everybody's going to be in Orlando. You know yes. how crazy it's going to be? All the basketball players going to be in Orlando. All of the Instagram. Yeah. Watch how many joints that's you too just see. That's close to Miami, too. So a, that's going to be a lot of filth going on. Oh, my on. God. They're getting the flights already. Niggas is already flying them out. So we got to have. So all of us just going to be in Orlando. Yo, it's going to be chicks leaving from this nigga room. <laughs> getting in an Uber. Listen, man. We just pray nobody suite. get caught up in a scandal. Please. Oh, at the time, Jeez, look, the, look, basketball players, all of you dudes that's about to be out in Orlando for the playoffs, just understand y'all are all fucking the same females. Yeah, all of y'all fucking the same females. The Rona is still, still roaming. There, yes. The Rona is still roaming. Yes. So you got to worry about. He got to have them like a real joint that fuck with them. Though. Cause you can fly, they'll fly out some joints that like. You got to worry about them, you know STDs and the Rona. And COVIDs. Yes. You got to worry about the STDs and the COVID. So y'all be safe out there. Y'all shoot hoops, but y'all <laughs> niggas make sure y'all being safe out there, man. Because Orlando is about to be the wild, wild west for, for that, July. Uh, I, I think it starts Florida starts, open, right? I think, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, the NBA playoffs start like June 31st. Yeah, I, I can't wait. Ooh, Orlando is going to be booming. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Oh, flute. I would let it take flute it. Flute out down there season. Just to see the vibes, the scenery, see what's going on. I ain't going. And this is going. This uh. is. We've never seen anything like this with this. We living through a revolution right now. We living through this pandemic. The playoffs is about to be like on some March Madness yeah. shit, all in one place. Mm-hmm. Sheesh. Yeah, it's a lot. A lot of filth going on, man. A couple porn stars gonna get flew out, but you know it's like. Oh, their their flights is already set up. <laughs> their flight flights booked, hotel. Their booked. flights are already set up. Like niggas can't oh, wait. My- Niggas then drop oh, the deposits on the pussy. Yo, like listen. it's going down, man. You, you gotta drop the deposits. If you, you don't drop the, drop the deposit. If you don't drop the deposit, it's not listen. even no action being like happening for you. Remember, we we said we support females, man, who, who you know, pay to play. Niggas yeah, gotta, man. Get that, that money. I just right. always was a cheap nigga. So shout out to all of the, the yeah. porn stars and escorts that ever gave me some free pussy because And these is NBA niggas. They I definitely so they wouldn't have I definitely like, wouldn't have got it if you would have like wanted to charge me. That's why I'm glad I was like 
cool nigga. You just want yeah. to eat some pussy. Because I definitely wouldn't have had sex with right. majority of the females I had sex with in my days if they smoke, would charge you know, me. Vibe. I love vibing with the females, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you're supposed to do it, man. Yeah, that, 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 that was my thing. That was my thing. But, yeah, man, shout, shout out to y'all. Like, y'all, the, the, the women, the sex workers, the women who charge for sex... Yes, and still like just let you pop and, and they get crazy with you for free. You, oh, y'all gotta, uh, y'all gotta, re- y'all, y'all, y'all have to honor that. Like, I don't you think a lot to. of you niggas understand. Y'all gotta honor that. Like, you have to. she has a fee, yeah. and for you, it's free. And they're gonna just chill. Oh, with come you, on, man! You, 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 come on, man! You fuck you. All and then that. it's okay to feel it's yourself. It's okay to be down. like, man, I'm that, be, I'm nigga. that nigga. Yes. Man. It's okay. I'm that nigga. It's okay to feel like that. It's okay to feel like that. The fuck, boy. Look, man, this is episode. 10? 10. Ooh. Did I say episode 9 earlier? No, I don't. Did you? I don't know. I don't think you did. You said if I said 10. episode 9 earlier, please forgive me. He tripping. This is definitely episode 10. Blame it on the strain. I think when we do yeah, get to like a, yeah. a 20. No matter what I might what do you like do. a um, don't put the blame free, on. Uh, I'm going to give away some, some podcast merch and t-shirts, man. I got to figure out how, how we should do that's it. That's dope. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like to, that to idea, man. That's kind of opinionated, man. We, I'm a, that's kind of fire. I'm going to take that job on personally, man. I'm going to send out some fucking merch to, to the listeners, man. It's going to oh, be like, good, like three people. Like three people. Like three people. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to choose like three people. I don't like this. We got a whole pre-show that we do. Like the, we pre-game and put shit together. You didn't say anything about this. I felt like you tried listen. to get on the court and do some nah. call and bank shit. Nah. Like you tried to get on the court and just <laughs> take the... Shot from half on some shit like we ain't speak upon this shit that. Just came to my but now nah, that's a that's a that's a dope idea. You know I like saying? that. I like so that. Episode twenty, right after that, we gonna figure some shit out how we could get the three listeners. Like we could choose them and shit. You know, we gonna send out some shit, man. And we still you know? we still growing this. Yeah, like I'm. I appreciate all the new listeners, all the people that have been listening since we first started this shit, and we have one camera angle, and we was fucking and we was standing, standing up. up. And shit. Ooh. Oh man, my legs used to be killing me. Like, all, like the first couple episodes, I definitely had on a, a, a Adidas boost slippers. Yeah. It's like, nah, I'm not doing this. Day. After like, the first we, time, I said, Nah, I'm not doing this shit. But we cool now. We comfortable. Like, you know, this shit. This shit is cool, man. This shit is cool. NBA back. All of the officers in George Floyd murder been charged. Back. Back. We still trying to get this shit right with Breonna Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Happy belated birthday to Breonna Taylor. Yes, I saw that yes. the other day. Um, Happy birthday. We still, we still, we still trying up. to get a few things right. Right. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not gonna lie. I know we got we got some more shit to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we do. You saw Akon? <sighs> Fucking. I'm just, oh, I, I just want to ask you man. if you saw Akon before yes, I. I seen Akon. I, I, know, I, I know exactly where you going with this. I seen Akon in action today on the gram. Look, I wasn't going to talk about this, and 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 Boo and Omar, y'all 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 my boys, man. I, I fucked with y'all. This is no disrespect, man. And Akon, yeah, Akon I know Akon, Akon first personally. Akon is a fucking legend. So this is no disrespect to Akon either. No, 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 no. no. Well, it's, I'm not. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to no, Akon. Not at all. I'm not just giving my opinion on the right. Loud Opinions podcast. That's all I'm doing. That's our job. <laughs> And my opinion is, I just don't understand how you can go from Locked Up featuring Styles the P. The Ghost, Phantom Menace. To Locked Up featuring Rat Boy. Yeah, Snitch Nine. That's just crazy. How do it you is, do that? I don't like, know. What, and it's like, it's like, I'm going to be serious right now. I'm going to be serious right now. Because when I say shout out to Boo and shout out to Omar and shout out to Akon, nah, that's, that's those are all his shit. brothers. Yeah. Those, that's him mm-hmm. and his brothers. I know them all personally. So I kind of got to be easy how I talk about this. I don't want nobody to take it the wrong way. Like Mills was trying to crack jokes and Mills was trying to nah, shit on. Nah, I'm know. just giving my opinion. It's like, bro, what are you... Like, I, I, I don't even see I, what I Akon... Really don't I, don't, I, don't even under, I don't even see what Akon could get out of doing... A song with him, right? Not even necessarily taking one of your biggest records that the world know you for, and now turning it, and now records. turning it into like a, like, like a no, like no, like a clickbait type. It's like yo, like, you got you got too many hits. Is it for the uh, Akon? You got too many. Thing, look, or? look, fuck that. Akon, you because got because Akon is way bigger than that. Like you building a, some shit. Akon, Akon has too many. Hits 
Hit records. Akon is too established. Akon is too big of a icon. Akon is too big of a staple where he's from to interact and engage in the fucking buffoonery. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like he, like I don't. It, Cause I, I seen a, trying to get a bag. I was on I was on the timeline mm-hmm. and I seen like I seen like a clip of like them sitting like in the, the studio, in the studio yeah. or whatever mm-hmm. singing. And I'm just like, come on, Akon. Then I, I yeah, when I heard the record, I'm like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even think I would have been mad if Akon produced the record for him. No, I wouldn't, I I wouldn't have been I mad at that. that, that I, I wouldn't, wouldn't even, have been I mad even, at that. I wouldn't have even been mad if Akon made a beat and he was on the hook. I he, wouldn't have been mad at that. A, but for I, him but to do, it, it, I'm locked up. I'm locked up. It, 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 it looked like. Let me out and like, I had seen, I had seen an interview of Akon a few weeks ago, where he said like. He was like praised. This was like before Six Nine came home, mm-hmm. I think. And he was praising Six Nine like, look, when he come home, he's gonna be big. He's gonna. Be. And I was like. Akon, you a street nigga. Like you No, wasn't Akon locked up though? Like for real. Yeah, for real, right? like Akon, shit, you right? from like like you I, a, I know you I, I know you from coming from some solid niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even think that you would even think what he's doing is like some is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like and, or, or cool enough for you to put your convict stamp on it. Or maybe I'm giving Akon too much Which benefit prop? of the doubt and being like, because no. sometimes right now I think people looking at everything as a business move with him. Like, mm-hmm. that's like, see, that's why I say he might be trying to get a bag. Who Akon? But he really don't need the bag. That's what I. That was my Akon next sentiment. Akon don't need the bag. What but, bag see, could I'm, Akon see, ever be trying Akon to get? So much, a- I'm trying to find excuses for Akon, him and all that why he did this shit. Akon <laughs> built a gas station. Come on, at his house. Yes. Yes. That's not the guy that need money. Not at all. That ain't the dude who need money. That ain't the dude who need money. That's just, I don't know, that's just me. I could be wrong, though. I didn't really want to go into that as a crazy topic, crazy subject type situation. Right, right, right. But, you know, at that that was just crazy. I was just like, man, they, they my man, somebody passed Akon the ball, but he was out of bounds when he caught it, like. Man, but he was out of bounds when he caught it, man. It, but it's, I don't know. That shit was it was that shit was crazy to see. Akon is a fucking icon, man. It's like, come yeah. on, man. But I feel like it don't it don't take nothing away from what he did though. But it's just like you It makes you be like But for it what it makes you think I about know, the first I really one. know for what though. Like I just I just wanna know like what was that coming And you like? and don't get it twisted. As grown men, yeah. Y'all could do what y'all want to do. Yeah, I'm just giving my please. opinion on yeah. how it looked when I saw it. I'm not saying, oh, Akon, you a bitch ass nigga for no, doing no, no, something no, with no, no, no. Not, Like, nah. Not, like, you could do whatever you not, want. I'm just right. giving my opinion on what I saw. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, speaking nah, again on shit. speaking again on what I saw. Uh, I saw the Lance Armstrong 30 for 30. <laughs> you, you caught that shit? Nah, remember we was trying to find that shit the other night. So I got to get into that. Yo, I get the chance. Yo. I know his story though. What, yo. <laughs> I knew the I knew the story too. I knew I knew the Lance Armstrong story too, but I never knew like, um, I never knew past when he got caught. Mm-hmm. I just knew like he got caught. Right. You know what I'm saying? I never knew, uh, Lord the lawsuits he had and the money he right. had and you know what I'm saying. So the thirty for thirty. The ESPN 30 for 30 that we're talking about uh, is called Lance, but it's about mm-hmm. Lance Armstrong. If y'all know, if you don't know who Lance Armstrong is, he's only the fucking one of the biggest cyclists biggest. ever. Uh, he had all of us walking around with the yellow, yellow. rubber lift strong bands. Like. I used to wear them shits with, with the jewelry. That shit was a part of the outfit yeah, every day. Yeah, that ass though. Like, if you had that on, you was popping. Like, you know, oh, and, okay, and, you and, and, and that, bring, that brings me to, because he said he never made no money off of that lift strong shit. He said all of that, he said all of that was going to like charity. He said Nike came to him with the idea. To I'm not that. mad at that though. Yeah. Because they made big money. Them shits were sold out everywhere. But y'all was going to like Nike Town to get my shit though. I remember that back in the day. That was Yo, a dope man, story. Nigga though. Don't never be, you don't never be telling me my shirt all fucked up. I'll be having my tank top showing and Bro, shit. We, I didn't even see all of that. Nigga don't never see none of that. His shit don't I, look crazy. I'll be editing the episode, be like, Yo, I sat there for an hour with my fucking tank top. Top of the showing some No, my bad, bro. If nah. I see some shit, I'm say some shit, man. Nah, the Lance Armstrong shit, uh, the Lance Armstrong <laughs> shit. Is it's dope 
just to see. Uh, well, not saying it's dope to see, but it was interesting. They beat cancer, something like that, right? It was interesting to see. I'm gonna get to that. Mm-hmm. It was interesting to see his side of the story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when you know when people get caught in a lie and then they gotta come clean. Right. It's interesting to see why they lied in the first place. Right. It's interesting to see. Nah, some people having legitimate. Like, why reasons. did you keep it going for so long? Like the lie. It's interesting to see that shit sometimes. So, just to see his side of the story and the other people that. Was involved. He told Mm -hmm. on when he lost, and he told her he was doping. And this is the thing: he retired from cycling. Mm -hmm. He had won like seven championships, seven Tour de France's. That was like never done before. He got away with murder, and then came back to the scene and started like doing the Millie Rock. That's basically what he did. He got away oh with murder, God. came back to the murder scene while cops were still investigating this shit doing, and on, started doing the it. fucking Millie Rock. He got to stop it. That was not the movie. That's what he did. He retired and then came back to cycling. And Everybody told him, that. yo, yeah. look, if you come back, they're they going to be on you. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, just take this. You know what I'm saying? One of his, one of his uh, doctors told him, look, if you cross that line, Meaning, like, if you win, mm-hmm. they going they going to do you dirty. He came back. Of course, he won. Of course, but it's different than it was seven, eight years ago. Now they digging into everything. You got mm-hmm. enemies now. You know what I'm saying? And now, nah, yeah. But sometimes people pay people to dig into your shit, just, man. That shit got real bad for him. My my question to you is, and we spoke about this on the phone. I really want to talk about this. My question to you is, do you think? Lance Armstrong doping overshadows the fact that he beat cancer. Like, because I think people forget, I think people forget that he beat cancer. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I understand that he was doping. I understand he Mm -hmm. got caught doping with the cycling shit. It's a sport. It's illegal. Right. Cool. I, I understand that. But aside from the sport, in real life, yeah, he beat um, cancer. He, I, re- he beat, I respect he beat that. The shit I respect that him for my that. My grandmoms didn't beat. The yeah, shit that you know my pops I know didn't beat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that died from that. He my man beat that. Lean, so he peace, might have cheated talk. cycling, Word. but he beat cancer. So my thing to you is, which one do you think is like the the thing that people are gonna always talk about more when it comes to Lance Armstrong? Oh, him definitely being a. Um, a cyclist, they definitely gonna talk about that more because that was more. That was like the bigger. It's part crazy of the you story. said that, bro. Because unfortunately, I was gonna say that same thing. I'm like, just being real. Like I was gonna say that same even thing, man. And that's fucked is up. A miracle, like if you ever been through that, amen to you. Made it through, like for real, because everybody don't make it through. But they always gonna. They're not gonna. They're gonna look past that. You know what I'm saying? Some people probably don't even know that part of the story. Yeah, man. I I was thinking about that shit. I'm like, he beat cancer. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I understand he got caught cheating. You know, it's a lot of people that get caught cheating. And a speaking lot. about mm-hmm. that, they got another 30 for 30 coming with Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. What? I got to see that. First of all, I need to see Sammy really sit in front of a camera. <laughs> I need to see. I, I know where you're going. Come on. Sammy come on. Sosa looks crazy. crazy. Sammy, Sammy Sosa. crazy. Sammy he got Sosa. That bag. Yo, in the words in the words of my brother, in the words of my brother Mac, man, he looks fucking nuts. He looks fucking nuts, my nigga. He looks nah, fucking Sammy, nuts. Sammy, I don't know what. Sammy looks crazy, yo. Sammy looks like Sammy turns yo, you have, white, you man. yo. Sammy Sosa looks like the episode of Atlanta. Yo. Remember the episode of Atlanta? Oh yes, when a nigga that was in a crib. Oh my God! The nigga came up with the ostrich egg and all that. I remember. I know exactly what you're talking about. Nah, that was crazy. Yo. That was yo. He really looks yo, like him though. That's I think who he did Sammy that Sosa looked like. I think he did Sammy that. Sammy Sosa looked bad. like Donald Glover in the episode of Atlanta, where he played the guy with the the, the crazy guy that oh, lived home and yeah. he had his pops yeah. in the uh, uh, in in the uh, wheelchair. <laughs> 
I don't know what made me think about because I didn't think about that earlier until right now. Like if you put that wig on Sammy Sosa, he gonna look exactly like that. Right and that now. sports jacket that he had on in his thirty for thirty interview that's coming up, he looks fucking nuts. But yeah, man, that Lance Armstrong shit is crazy, man, because he beat cancer, and the only thing that they ever gonna talk about is that he cheated. He in cheated the cycling. system. They always want to remember your fucking the, the bad shit. That's any human being, though. Yeah, yeah, that's any human being. You're right. That is, that's true. Um, damn, what else? What, else, uh, what was that shit? Oh, people. I wanted to talk about this last week, too, but we didn't have enough oh, fucking. Yeah. We, oh, we had yeah, already yeah, got yeah, to the shit we wanted to get to. But people who fucking tell you everybody's business, right? Tell you every, a lot of people like Yeah, that. people who tell you people. everybody's business and then expect you to still tell them your business. All your business as if they're not gonna you didn't somebody. catch on that they tell everybody's business, bro. Do you know people Yo, like that? I know a lot of people like that. And I don't tell them a fucking thing, man. Oh, I don't tell man. them nothing. I just be like, oh word. Sometimes people be talking to me and I be like blocking them out like they just be talking. I'm like, oh word. Oh, that okay. is the like, best way to be. Oh, okay. That's the best cool. way to be. Once again, man, <laughs> shout out to shout out to Jada Stevens, man. The Jada, the Jada 420 is hitting. Yeah, I'm, fu- I'm hitting, fucking man. with the purple peach right now. I ain't, yeah, I ain't sure. even gonna lie. Got a nice back with that. Purple peach is hitting. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh yeah, man. Fucking um. I can't, I don't know, I can't, I can't get with that shit, man. I can't get with, I can't get with somebody that will literally sit in front of me and like just. We know a lot of people like that. Just tell me, because I ain't even going to lie, this is me. I know everything. This is me. I'll be there like this. I know, nigga, I'll be knowing everything. I'll be like, what? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. The word, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's all you can say, word, word. that's crazy. Now, sometimes you got to go word, nigga. Oh, yeah, and I ain't you gotta go I hit it with the, oh, nah, I ain't never been to no shit like that, nigga. That's Even if I did, you ain't I could I could shit. be going through that shit at that moment. I'm not nigga, telling you never nothing. Because the nothing. moment I'm not around you, you're going to be like, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, so nigga Mills today. told me he was going through the same <laughs> thing. Shit crazy out here right now, B. Like, fam, yo. fam, I told <laughs> you <laughs> that. <laughs> the fuck you go and tell him that for? I don't fuck with that nigga oh, like that. Now he know my nigga, business. You don't even know. Now he like, laying up with his girl talking about, yeah, yeah. nigga Mills. Fuck shit, and then she got on the phone with her homegirl. So, yeah, I was talking about nigga, my nigga Mills. I don't even me. like her like, homegirl. <laughs> I don't even like your homie. I don't even like. Everybody just be talking your That's why you got to give man. niggas the word. It's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. Nigga tell. Nigga sit up there and tell you. All of this man's business. And then when you see the nigga, you be like, damn, I really know all his fucking business. Like, and he don't even know. But you then, don't even know shit. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but this is the crazy part. This is the crazy part. Because when you see him, you looking like, damn, that's crazy. I know all this oh, nigga business. Of, right. But then on the flip side, you got to be like, I wonder what the fuck this nigga know about, about me. <laughs> like, what was I telling? That's the shit that's scary, Yo, my nigga. Dead ass, though. That's the scary shit, oh man. Oh, my God. That's extremely bad. That is the fucking scary thing, man. That is the fucking scary thing. Fucking. Nah, what man, a, be going through crazy shit, though. What's the craziest thing you ever been through, like, with somebody that you was cool with and you told them some shit, like, privately, and then they ran back and they told the shit to fucking... Everybody, and then that shit just fucked up your relationship. Matter of fact, you don't even got to tell me who. But just like, you ever been oh, yeah. in a predicament like that where you had to cut somebody off because they ran back and they might have said some yeah. shit and it was like, yeah. come on, that wasn't... And then you had to look at them different? Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. I was, um, of course, some females involved. You know, that females be involved in everything you fucking do in life. Like, you can't live with them, can't live without them. But I'd rather live with them, though. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Oh, please, please. I, I couldn't. Oh, I, God. I, I, imagine, imagine living without a woman. In 2020, you're doing bad. If Just you a, a grown nigga with a lady at home, man, get it together, man. And if you're a grown woman with no man at home and you think you're just going to keep fucking random niggas. Nah, like, that's not going down. We look at y'all crazy like that now. 
fuck is you talking about, bitch? You got wild bodies and you in your 30s. Go settle down. Niggas go sit little, your ass you down. Be a fucking uh, insecure. Character yeah, go shit. get some go, fucking wild niggas. You and your Ray, little, little you and your, out here. Listen, man. If you if you're in your thirties and you're single, go find somebody to sit and watch fucking reality TV shows and movies and just with. Chill, cook up. Watch some Law shit. and Order on USA late night. Shit, come on to like five in the morning. Like you might catch wild episodes yeah. from 2007 with Liv. Got the short hair dude, that, stabler still there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because when you dolo. You be up, you just be watching shit. You be on the timeline like this. <laughs> just wild thumb scrolling. You keep refreshing your shit. Like, fam, it's 2 a.m. Yo. Go to sleep. You trying to hit a joint to come through? Like, what No, are you they're with like, their boyfriends. Yes. And now you trying to hit you trying to hit the nigga to come through. Yo, it's quarantine. He's it's with quarantine. It's no <laughs> clubs. It's no link ups. It's no nothing. No if you're nothing. single, you lonely. And right it's now, fucked in this up. moment. And I feel your pain because I was there before too. Shit yeah, is hell spooky. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, but back to what you asked me though. Um, it was a. Yeah, we'll get niggas, back to that. Niggas just went wild off course. Yeah, wild off course. This is our shit though. Fuck it. So um, I was dating this chick at the time, right? And I had a homegirl that used to see me do my dirty work. Like she used to be in my crib. See bitches running in and out. You know what I'm saying? When I had the crib in Midtown and all that. So. She um it was vigilante time. Yeah, it, yeah, it was it was insane. Before man. look, look, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Before it was demon time, <laughs> I used to always say that I'm on vigilante, vigilante time. Like I don't time, I was just yeah. really living on vigilante time and then it trickled down to my friends and I was a bad fucking influence and no, I changed my he life. Definitely influenced he'll, he'll look, tell you some crazy. I was shit. such a bad like, influence yo. that I remember when niggas found out that I was about to have a kid, niggas was like all right, so what are we supposed to do now? Like, you was, like, the leader the of the leader film crew. Is. Like, you used, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas gone. used to come to Miami. You used to have wild different situations for niggas the set Virgo up. The Virgo mixtape, nigga, like, come on. I, yo, I, remember, like, I, remember when, I remember when I told niggas I was moving from Miami, and, like, I was, like, me and, uh, me and Dana was about to move in and shit, and we got the family, we got the kids. Like, yo, what are we going to do? So what we gonna do when we come? And I'm like, my nigga, you act like there wasn't a like you didn't do shit in Miami before I no. had cribs out there. He's like, nah, but like, what are niggas gonna do now, my crazy nigga? Crazy like, now. You the, <laughs> niggas was you hurt. You the call up nigga, the call up king for everything. Yo, niggas was hurt, man. Bitch, respect my evolution. <laughs> I was looking at last week's oh, the other week episode. That shit was hilarious. Respect my evolution, man. <laughs> but nah. But yeah, oh yeah, so the shit I was talking about, so I had this homegirl that used to watch me do all my shit, right? And then she was cool with this little chick I was taking serious at the time. And she ended up giving faces to the names that she might have had, might have known, might have looked through a nigga phone and see some shit, you know what I'm saying? She put like faces, like Instagrams, oh, oh this the one he fucking, this the one he fucking, this the one he fucking. I'm like, yo. But how? You had the faces saved in the phone? No, no, no. Like she, she. Must I was about to say that's a hot. That's a hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, don't, I don't have know. my face These saved in FBI your phone. FBI agents, CIA agents. Don't. I don't know. I don't know what's what, but I know she told that, her yo, bro, everything. That wouldn't be weird. Like if you called me and a picture of you popped up. Oh, that would be insane. Like I would look at you crazy. Like, bro, why the like, fuck you got my picture in your phone? Bro, bro? I would like, feel crazy if when I called you, it was a picture of me like this. <laughs> yo, I'll be like, yo, what the fuck? Like you but saved. Hot. You saved a default. Like you went to the, the like, bro. Cause you got to think. Of, all right. Oh man. Yo. Nah, that would be disgusting. Cause though. this is not a topic right here, but I I just have to talk about this. You ever think about like when you see people post shit, right? Like videos on their Instagram or their story, or mm -hmm. used to be on Snapchat, whatever. You ever think about like what goes through people's mind when they're holding their phone? And doing this shit for one, I just don't understand how you could cry into your into your phone. Like, yeah, cause like it's so much emotion emotions. going through a person, and maybe I Don't just haven't. Yourself? Maybe I'm being insensitive because I've never. Maybe it's that I've never been yeah. that emotional to get on the the. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm definitely not going on. And the, then on pull the phone my, recording my phone myself. Out. Cause I gotta go to, the, I gotta open the gram, right? Then I gotta, gotta go. Your tears, though. You gotta save your tears for the video. Though. I gotta open the gram. Then I gotta go to the story. Yeah, you gotta do all that. 
and if I'm doing it, button. if I'm doing it on this story, I got to hold, hold a button while I'm holding the phone. Mm. While That's I'm too much work, man. While I'm crying. Why are you crying though? While I'm getting it together, I still got to keep holding all this that. button. All that. Why you? Why you crying? Or I can pre-record it. Which and is, upload which it is to the even gram. sicker. I can pre-record myself crying. How many take? How many takes they took, and man? Then I need to know, man. Upload it to the story. Come on, come on. How many? I, I need to see. I need to look at they 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 uh, camera roll, man. I know you probably Yo, have about four some, different takes. Like, damn, I ain't really crying. I got damn fuck. I gotta put more emotion to the next one. Because, bro, even it's sometimes like, I do dumb shit like that. Like, I'll be driving, and I'll be listening to some shit, and I'll start recording myself. I've, I've like, been there and done that while shit a few I'm, times myself. Like, while I'm listening to it. Of course not while I'm in traffic or something. This is be like when I'm nobody right. around me or some shit like that. Or when I'm just sitting in the car just in general. Like, I could be in an Uber. I could be right. doing anything. But it's like, sometimes I do look at that shit and be like, yo, why are you recording yourself? <laughs> Make an accent so what Like, the fuck what, what are you... What the fuck are you doing? Like that's why I, that yo bro that well, once you upload it's too late. Loud man. opinions late. podcast it's like there's loud yeah. opinions because we get very high, extremely high. The extremely. opinions are loud because you may not agree with them, but it's blatant and it's like I don't give a fuck. This is what it is, but I don't know. That's just me, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's just me. Be like that sometimes. Nah, but when that fire song come on the radio though, since you ain't here in a minute, you be like, ooh. They Yo, catch listen, a groove to that. I don't know how many of y'all that listen to this podcast or watch the podcast on YouTube or, or whatever, or do both. I don't know how many of y'all live in Los Angeles, right? But when you hear that 94-7, the way come on. move it to me, come, come on. That's like it's the the, 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 the it's West coming. Coast version of the uh the Kiss FM. Oh Kiss my FM back in God, the day. man! The doom, 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 yo, doom. yo, look. When you was growing up in New York, right? Remember uh the Kiss FM Power After Hour? Oh, of course. The yo, they used to play Beauty by Drew Hill. The remix, yeah, though. Yes, a million the, times. Um, oh. Oh. Yeah, that was their go-to. That was definitely their go-to. Yo. They might have set the vibe with that. All right, this, nights, this, so this, this was the joint. They used to play the Beauty remix joint. They used to play, because I used to listen to, I used to have a little boombox by the bed. That was my get nasty boombox, too, after school. <laughs> so I used to just leave that shit. That's when me and Rel had the bunk beds. Rel used to be on top, he'll tell you. I used to be listening to the power after hours, so they used to play the the do 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 And they would play the Beauty and then they always played the fucking Escape, the softest place on earth. <laughs> yo, that was a lot of I remember, yo, I remember the first time I listened to the Escape song, the softest place on earth. I was like, the softest place on earth. Oh, I gotta hear this song. It was but by this time, I'm already reckless. I'm already in the reckless mode. Like I'm leaving school after sixth grade. I mean, I'm leaving school after, after sixth, sixth grade. Period. I'm leaving. School after sixth period, I'm in like the tenth grade. I'm like fifteen. I have no business having one nigga. This wildness. I'm like the soft, the softest place on, on earth. earth, baby. You could be the first inside the softest. Mm. Oh man, I love. So- I was like, this is. Oh, you said, oh, this is the vibe. I wonder why this doesn't come on the Hot 97 in the daytime. <laughs> They can't play this when they're playing See My Days Are Cold Without You. You're not is, playing that, man. No, you can't play this. No, this is no. Nah, this is, this no, is, no, no, and while I'm, no. while I'm fucking listening to that, BT Uncut. Ooh. <laughs> Once you have, ladies and gentlemen, this is, do, 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 Yo, do, do. I used to stay up just to watch, oh, you know what else I used to watch late night? Dominican USA, channel 56, 57. Dominican my, USA. It was a different time back then, my fire. nigga. But look, we, we, so, look, we're, we're, oh, man, we, back we, in the day. I, we, we, yo, probably, lo- wait, we, we probably man. losing a lot of listeners right now. They probably done drifted off like, what <laughs> the fuck are like, these niggas talking about? All right, Dominican USA was a show on public access Yes. in New York. We grew up in New York City, so a lot of times, 
a lot of the things you may hear on this podcast may Shit be that we grew up on things yeah. that we grew up on in New York and Harlem. But a lot of the things of our adulthood, you might hear me talk about when I was living in Miami. But we in L.A. now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we out on the West Coast. So a lot of we have a lot of different experiences. Memories come from a lot of different places. But Dominican USA was a show that came on public access in New York City. And shout out to all my Dominicans. Yeah, so shout out to all my Puerto Ricans. Shout out to all my peoples in Wash Heights. Like I was born in Wash Heights before I moved down to Harlem, and it was a little situation going on on the gram with the Dominicans. Oh they yeah, chased, recently, they yeah. chased some dudes out of yeah. Dykeman because they thought they was gonna loot and all that, and they came back the next day, and you know, but it's squashed. It's squashed. And, and thank God for it. You know what I'm saying? Just shout out to all my Dominicans. Shout out to all my Puerto Ricans. All my peoples in the Heights. Man, I just yes, wanted to, just wanted to make sure I say that. But Dominican USA was fucking wow. Extremely wild. Dominican USA was wild. It was that was wild. And what was the um the other the late night filth? Oh, Robin Bird, Channel Thirty Five. Listen, that shit used to be crazy. That shit used to be crazy. She said, "Baby, let me bang your box." <laughs> Yo, where's Robin Bird no. right now, though? Oh, my where is she God. At? Where is oh she at, God, man? man? Goddamn. Oh, man, baby. Oh, man. Remember, remember my man Ron Goldstein? Oh. Midnight was, Blue? That shit was crazy. He used to always keep saying, fuck Carmines. That nigga hated Carmines. Yeah. That, all that shit was crazy. That was wild throwback shit right there. Oh man, that's how you that, know that's, we. That's how you know we was just some little freak niggas. Yeah, we had no business niggas, watching man. Robin Bird. I remember I saw Heather Hunter on Robin Bird. I was like, oh, yes. Shit. I was like, oh shit, she be having porn stars on there. Yes. I had to turn from Robin Bird sometimes. Like, she'll, it'd be, it'd be it'd crazy. There'd be some wild shit going on. You see a nigga, that, then, then nigga then come up there, nigga come up there with some uh, briefs on with a with a with a bow tie. I'd be like, nah, turn, <laughs> turn. I'm turning. Nah, nah, my nigga, you ever you ever be in a crib right in your mom's in a room and you got to hit the uh, the last channel would be like LC. MTV or some shit. The LC, LC, like, oh. what? L- you be yo, like, yo, I used to, I used to, I used to stay watching like USA and shit like that, right? I would be watching. Uh, just random shit, right? So I remember I used to do shit like that, like uh, LC, go to the last channel, and I would go to USA, right? This is how I found out the shit. Uh, remember Up All Night on USA with the Gil- Gilbert oh, Godfrey? Yes. They yes, would always show yes. like these, not like porn movies, but they would be like raunchy spring break uh, uh, bikini car wash type movies. And I remember I hit the LC one time, and it went to some bikini car wash joint. Was like, like, oh, this is a vibe. Friday nights. This is what where you can doing? find me. Now I found a new joint for Friday night. Oh, man. Now, did you have the cable box with the black button on the back? 92 and 93 with Playboy and all that? Uh, I had that joint. That was I had, the select I, enter? Was that the select enter? I think that was the select enter. Like you from pay per view, you hit select yeah, enter, yeah. and it automatically go through? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I, I think I might have had. Yeah, that. man, that shit was crazy, man. That was we came a long way, man. Oh man, but that's what led me to my filth, though. I had a whole lineup. Oh man, public access was so fire, man. Dumb fire. Public access was so fire, but that you had to be like a little filthy dude to, to be that. watching like Robin Bird and Midnight Blue and Dominican USA and all of that. That ass though, <laughs> and I really, I really just found that shit is. Scrolling through the channels, minding my business. Like, yeah, oh, you be up, you be up, you like, be up late oh, night. Shit. You like, you be up late okay. night. You be like, man, I need something to watch. It's like after you watch wrestling late, it's like, okay, cool. What I'm about to get into probably watch a movie. Then the filth starts extremely after that. Oh, but yeah, man. man. We in this thing, man. Yes, sir. Last week, I forgot to show. I forgot to show. Yeah, man. Look. You know what I'm saying? My, my shirt is fire, too, man. Oh, oh yeah, that is fire. That's done fire. I ain't even gonna lie. With Greg, with Greg Floyd facing it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I meant to tell you, we was because we shot we shot a few videos oh, the other day. We I shot there. a video on my homeboy. Yeah. My homeboy shot a video on, his on shit, me. Oh, yeah. And just in case y'all listening and y'all not watching, I shot a video on Linux. And, and Linux I shot, shot a video, video on, on that, him. That, 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 there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh... <laughs> 
So we got some new work coming. Yeah, but I wanted to say my apologies for last week. I forgot to show the uh, the, oh, video the video on mm-hmm. the YouTube on the YouTube joint. I was backed up in editing. I was trying to do so much. So my apologies for last week not showing the premiere of the Joy video. But the end of this episode, I'm gonna run that bitch. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna run that bitch. And that shit on uh, the, on iTunes and everything right now too. The Joy. Yeah, let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Let Oh, roll you too, man. Yeah, yes, man. sir. Yeah, man. That I, I was I was real impressed with my work on that one. No, that shit came out of that. And you know what's crazy? As it's, it made me it made me uh, it made me like the song more. Maybe because I had to listen to the song more. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. as I shot, I, I didn't I didn't listen to it Quiet, that many. Yeah. Like you know when you when you edit in a video, you got to fucking. Go do it, yeah. You listening to it so many times. times. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You listening to it so many times. It's like you damn near know it. I could damn near recite the song word for word. Right now, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I listen to the when I listen to the song now, I could instantly see, see the, the video. video. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But, but it's I don't know. It's everybody that I sh- I was telling you this the other day. I'm like, yo, bro. Everybody that I show that video. They be like, nah. This, it make me feel like all my other shit was some bullshit or something like that. <laughs> right? Like, nah. This one, there like, was nah. Fire, this like, one is, this one is, this one is dope. You maybe because you like you, you, rec- you recorded it, edited it. You know what I'm saying? Took your time. I shot, I shot something for uh, our homeboy. Oh uh, yeah, homeboy, JD. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to stay shout hungry, to, man. Shout out to stay hungry. Ball yes, of bellies. Ball of belly you know what I'm saying? He man. wanted me to. He saw the video that I did on you. And he made you hit me immediately and was like, yo, where you at? Like, let's let's right. figure something out. Like And they made a play happen. And he like I was I was like, hell yeah, man. Like that was that was some dope shit. It was a dope experience yeah. to do that too. So definitely looking into doing more directing, doing more. But for right now, if if all I can do nothing but shoot videos with my boy, then so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so be it, man. So be it. So you know what, man? Let's, we we go we can wrap this one up. You know what? Yes, sir. We're gonna get into the we 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 just gonna get into the premiere of the Joy video right here. Yes. Let I always choose, keep man, telling y'all that I I direct and I do all this shit and I know y'all like this nigga Mills just be talking. He's be talking, 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 nah, talking. So right now we are gonna get into this premiere of my boy Lennox Hughes video. The Joy. The Joy. Right here. This is the Loud Opinions Podcast. I am Jay Mills. I'm Young Lennox. Episode ten. Let's get into the joy. We sing Yo. about the joy. It's huge. <laughs> I'm out in LA smoking California finest. Crystals in the bud, shining brighter than a diamond. If you ain't smoking gas, then you doing dumb bad. Just like them niggas putting mid in the runs bag. This valley of death. Got me toe tag. Reggie can't hit it like a bum bitch with no ass. Fucking up zips with no help. Blow through the whole half. Backwoods filthy, gotta get them shits a whole bath. Yeah, we learned that from Nip the Great. Poems hold me down, but this Kush helping me escape. Light up on the fire escape. Now we not dodging flames, trying to stay sane. Rolling pain truly brings me joy. I swear it's loud, calm the noise. No more staircases running from them boys. All interruptions, I'm trying to avoid Before I light up and deploy Gotta roll two before I light one About to take off, had my flight come Nah, I don't plan on landing I've been potent, no misunderstanding Gotta roll two before I light one About to take off, had my flight come Nah, I don't plan on landing I've been potent, no misunderstanding uh. I'm smoking live, my Jordan 5s Boat hoodie on, niggas know the vibes Call a pack, no ceilings, tryna to touch the skies Dark shades to hide the red up in my eyes Gorilla glue got me too stuck All nonchalant, I don't really give two fucks About what these niggas smoking They ain't trying to go the heights that I'm going I'm talking tallest taco, high off this gelato I even came across some pink Moscato When I ride in a Chevy, gotta have that Tahoe If you're looking for me, the clouds you should follow Rolling up, turn me into a roll, my dope Shit, I'm high right now, you hear it in my flow So, 
bump this through your speaker Roll up indica sativa and smoke up with a diva Gotta roll two before I light one About to take off, have my flight come Nah, I don't plan on landing I been potent, no misunderstanding Gotta roll two before I light one About to take off, have my flight come Nah, I don't plan on landing I been potent, no misunderstanding